Are you ready for some low carb eggnog? Stay tuned. Oh, that's good. For the best in low carb cooking with a bit of Louisiana flair, be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that bell button to be notified every time I post a video. It's creamy, it's delicious, it's mouthwatering. I teamed up with my friends at Swepco to bring you this delicious recipe that will please your harshest holiday critic. I'm Shelly with Skinny Louisiana. I share these recipes with my hundreds of weight loss clients and in my two cookbooks, Skinny Louisiana in the Kitchen and Skinny Louisiana the Slow Cooker. And now now it's your turn to bring out the low carb spice in today's sweet in your kitchen. Super easy ingredients. We have six eggs. We have a total of four cups of our heavy whipping cream and you notice I have it divided. We have two thirds cup of our swerve, which is our sugar replacer. We have a teaspoon of nutmeg. We have a tablespoon of vanilla extract and my little secret, which is a teaspoon of our almond extract. I love this stuff. It smells amazing. We're going to be using our induction burner today. And gang, what we want to remember with an induction burner is we want to use the correct pan. And I love the induction burner in this recipe because it's going to help me out with temperature. And we do have our candy thermometer. We're going to turn our induction burner on. Now, if you don't have an induction burner, go get one now. I'm going to turn it on low. I'm going to set this heat to 170. We're going to add our six eggs. I'm going to give it a little whisk before I throw it in. And this is one of the first times, gang, if you watch my channel, you know I absolutely rather a rubber spatula to use. But here's the good news. This is a super tiny whisk. I get it. I know I should probably be using a bigger one. I love the rubber whisk that we have right here because it's not going to scratch or tear up this pan. And notice I'm trying to break the yolks. That's my goal. Because the thing with eggnog, it's not that it's it's a hard recipe. It's a real time consuming recipe. Now, what I did was I tried to cut the time in half and one of the ways I did it was I did this more in a saucepan instead of a big heavy pan so that the heat gets a little bit distributed here. I'm really just going to whisk these eggs the entire time, which will be only about 15 minutes. I can remember growing up, eggnog was a huge, huge part of my family Christmas celebrations. Just be this huge, huge magna light pot on the stove. Now, Comment below if you know what a Magnolite pot is, just continuously cooking with the eggnog. So we kind of bought it into, you know, I would like to say 2019, we're ringing the year out, doing it a little bit better for us. And again, with that heat at 170, when we bring in our candy thermometer in about 15 minutes. And this is where I'm going to encourage you to set your time for about 15 minutes. To our egg mixture, we're going to add our swerve. So we have our swerve right here, sprinkle it through. We love swerve in the Skinny Louisiana Kitchen. If you've been watching our channel, you know that swerve is a non-GMO. We always get swerve at Drug Emporium because that's where it tends to be the cheapest in town, which I love, so comment below. If you don't have a Drug Emporium in town, where do you get your swerve at? It's keto friendly, so my keto friendly folks cut a couple back flips and rejoice. And guess what, gang? I'm making this recipe super keto today. Today, gang, it's heavy whipping cream. Now, we're adding two cups of our heavy whipping cream to this. And this is where some folks may scream at me and say, well, it's a really high fat recipe. And I'm like, yeah, well, the goal in our kitchen is that we want a low carb kitchen. There's a lot of folks out there who follow low carb and maybe not as high fat as keto, which I get, which I understand. And we want to be a really friendly channel. We're not kind of that argumentative channel. So there are a couple of alternatives. The first is that you can use half and half. So it'd be four cups of half and half and you would split it. Now keep in mind, friends, if you use half and half, you probably will need to cook it a little bit less because it'll heat up a little bit, a little bit faster. There's also my lactose intolerant crowd. And you can use a lactose free milk called Fairlife. Now that would keep it low carb, but some of my keto folks will get mad at me if we do use Fairlife. You do you boo. Today we are doing heavy whipping cream because I love this dish to be insanely creamy and delicious and please my crowd. So we're gonna keep whisking this. It's very important we do that because we don't wanna wind up with an omelet. Ugh. We're gonna look for that temperature to rise into about that 160 to 170 range. So 
we're continuing to whisk our eggnog mixture and I feel like it may be heating up a little bit too much. Beautiful thing about that induction burner, we're just gonna lower that temperature a little bit. We're gonna get our first reading with our thermometer. Again, I'm looking in about that 160 range. Temperature's rising. Okay, we're still at about 125. Let's keep at it. This is really where I need some awesome Christmas music. So comment below on what your favorite Christmas song is. Mine, y'all are gonna shoot me, is Mariah Carey's All I Want For Christmas Is You. I guarantee you, I start playing that on November 1st. And it drives my coworkers insane. I love you all at Everhart Physical Therapy completely drives them insane, but I don't care because I love Christmas, I love Christmas music, so I wanna know what your favorite Christmas song is because I really need some to play in the background while I am making this. We hit that 161. We're gonna pour our mixture into our ice bath. All I did was I took two bowls, added ice to the bottom, and we have our bowl up here because we want to cool this down. Look what's made an appearance, my rubber spatula. So, it's like our eggnog off heat. Being very careful, this is something you want an adult to do. We're going to transfer this to our bowl. I have my rubber spatula in here. Let's return our pan. And now we're going to add our final ingredients. So, we have our remaining two cups of our heavy whipping cream. Ah, so thick and rich. And to add some flavor, now this is where you can play around a little bit. We have our nutmeg. Whoops, kind of stuck to the bowl there. There we go, get on in there, girl. Uh, vanilla, and my personal favorite, our little almond extract. We're gonna get this stirred up. We want it to cool down before we put it in our refrigerator. Refrigerated at least three hours. I promise this is gonna be a perfect dish. And you're gonna check back in with me in a little bit. This is incredibly thick. It's creamy. It looks amazing. Here comes my favorite part. Mm. That is exactly what eggnog should taste like. It's sweet without being overly sweet. The heavy whipping cream, it just it just adds that wonderful thickness. I, need to, I just need to have a little bit more of this. I promise, gang, this is gonna be a huge, huge hit at your holiday celebration. This is gonna please the harshest critic. It is coating our bottle that tells you how thick it is. Scroll below and you'll be able to click the link and you can download our recipe right to your inbox. And to save time and money in the kitchen, be sure to visit swepco.com slash save. And if you want to join an awesome Facebook community of over 11,000 individuals sharing great low carb recipes, be sure to friend Skinny Louisiana on Facebook. And of course, we love likes, we love shares. If you love this video, give us a like, share it on your social media, and be sure to comment below on what is your favorite holiday beverage. As always, gang, we're off to our Christmas celebrations, so see you later, Gators.